This is a short video to discuss some of the differences between steppers and servos, and especially between steppers and Technic's ClearPath line of integrated servos. Just about everything you can find online comparing steppers and servos summarizes the comparison by saying something like, steppers are inexpensive and easy to use, but lower power, somewhat noisy, and can lose position. Servos are higher performance and fully closed loop, but they're complicated and expensive. This summary is largely accurate, but I'm going to demonstrate Technic's ClearPath SDSK integrated servo versus a similar power stepper system because I believe that the SK series of ClearPath motors addresses the cost and complexity issue of servos. First, let me say that even the smallest ClearPath, this NEMA 23 model, delivers 100 watts of shaft power. So if you're moving tiny loads at slow speeds, ClearPath is probably overkill and isn't going to be worth the money. For example, you can buy this NEMA 17 stepper and a big easy driver on DigiKey for only 50 bucks, and it will put out about 5 watts. For a small, lightweight project like this cool Eggbot printer, 5 watts is plenty, and no servo in the world would make any sense for this. If you're planning to use a NEMA 23 stepper more along the lines of this Oriental Motor stepper or bigger, or if you're currently using a servo system, then it will probably make sense to look at ClearPath. This Oriental Motor Stepper, derated according to the manufacturer's recommendations, because it runs open loop, puts out about 23 watts. Along with this Oriental Motor Drive, the package costs about $346. This Schneider Drive is a similar price and power. Schneider also makes integrated steppers. This one, after proper derating, puts out about 56 watts and costs about $430. When comparing servos and steppers, a lot of people forget to compare systems of reasonably equal power. Obviously, you want to be comparing apples to apples. Unfortunately, for some reason, stepper motors never publish their power ratings, so you have to calculate the power from the torque speed curve. Here's the torque speed curve for the ClearPath SDSK 2310S motor, for example. Notice that the ClearPath SK series servo motors have been designed to have torque speed curves that are similarly shaped to stepper motors, high torque at low speed, to allow driving lower speed applications without gearing. Anyway, here's how you calculate the power. Pick a point on the torque speed curve somewhere around the knee of the curve to get the maximum power point. Multiply the torque in ounce inches by the speed in RPM times 0. 0.00074. That will give you the power in watts. Pick a few points to do this on the curve to make sure that you get the maximum power point. Remember to derate a stepper's power by at least 30% because it's running open loop. Oriental Motor, along with other manufacturers, recommend a 50% derating. In other words, a 2x safety factor. On a related note, stepper manufacturers like Oriental Motor require that you limit the load to motor inertia ratio to no more than 10 to 1 for proper operation, even if you have more than enough power. ClearPath will operate fine with as high as 100 to 1 inertia mismatches or even more. So this ClearPath motor at 100 watts and $257 looks to have the high price issue of servos addressed. If you need even more power, you can also get a two-stack ClearPath motor that can output about 175 watts for 42 bucks more. And there's a whole line of ClearPath motors, NEMA 23 and NEMA 34, with up to 1,100 watts of peak power. Again, if you don't need this kind of power, a stepper motor system is probably going to be more economical. Enough talk. Let's see how these products compare. I'm going to do a slow, medium, and fast move with each system. First, a slow move with the stepper. We're micro-stepping this motor 16x to reduce noise and vibration, but at relatively low speed, steppers can be pretty noisy. Here's the clear path motor at the same speed. The motor's construction and servo algorithm allow the motor to be very quiet. you're really only hearing the bearings on the stage. Here's a medium speed move with the stepper. Notice that at this speed, the noise is somewhat reduced.
Here's the same move with clear path. Both motors are very repeatable, as you can see. Now we'll make the fastest move the stepper can make. I know this is the fastest move by previous trial and error. Any faster and the stepper will lose steps. Watch. If I increase the speed by 5%, the stepper stalls and loses position. Now I'll have clear path make the same move. Let me make it go 5% faster. I can actually go a lot faster and the servo will still be able to maintain its position. But it will go into what we call torque saturation. At one point in the move, we're exceeding the motor's capability, but instead of stalling or losing steps, you just get a momentary slight degradation in the way it tracks the commanded motion profile. So compared to a similar size and power stepper system, this clear path motor costs less, is smoother and quieter, and is fully closed loop so it doesn't lose position, and it has a 12,800 count per rev encoder to ensure its accuracy. What about ease of use, the final concern about most servo systems? Well, as you can see, it's actually easier to wire a clear path than a stepper because it's all integrated into one unit. And the step and direction inputs are opto-isolated, so it's extremely resistant to noise. In fact, we've used these on a CNC plasma cutting machine using 60-foot long unshielded cables with no noise issues whatsoever. One area of concern for people considering using a servo for the first time is, how hard is it to tune? Well, you don't have to tune it at all. ClearPath has a sophisticated built-in auto-tuner. And if you want to fine-tune the auto-tuner's results to suit your personal preference, you can get increased disturbance reduction and stiffness at the expense of a little more audible noise. You just move one simple slider control. In summary, provided you need at least 25 to 50 watts of shaft power for your application, the ClearPath SDSK series is going to offer you an easy-to-use, fully integrated servo solution that runs smoothly and quietly without the worry of losing position for less money than a comparable power stepper motor system.